Hello and welcome. This is Brenda. Um, I am uh, Brenda. Here's Willie's in the background. This is Loving, hey, <laughs> Loving Handcrafts by BMW. So today I'm going to start out with um, just here, just playing tonight. I don't have a card in mind, but this is a stencil. Um, it's a layering stencil and I've never really used one of these before. So I really don't know what's going to happen tonight. I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> well, let's just do it. Okay. Willie said, let's just do it. Um, I can't say that I've done a lot of stenciling um, as part of my craft uh, arsenal, crafting arsenal, but that's what I'm going to do. So this uh, stencils come in two sets. So there's a larger set, so it's a balloon, and then there's a smaller one. So that's what I'm going to do. And then here is what I picked out of my arsenal for inks. So I watched a few demos, let's just say that, and so uh, on YouTube to figure out how to do it. But uh, this is uh, the base color. So you want to start with a light color. So that's a distressed ink called Lemon Sque Squeezed Lemon. It's a Tim Holtz product. So this is a uh, Salty Ocean. This is Spun Sugar. And this is Mustard Seed. So this option of color combinations would give you like a light and airy feel. So I'm gonna try those. And then a second option, and yeah, I need to make sure that's the base. So the lemon, spun sugar is the base. And so yeah. So the second option would be to use the picked raspberry as my base color. Uh, wilted violet, scattered uh, straw, and peacock feathers. Well, I think I gotta fix that. Uh, pick raspberry. Okay, nope, I got the peacock feathers in the wrong grouping. So that should go there. That should go here. Let me just rethink. Okay, so. Uh, <coughs> spun sugar. Wilted. I had them in order. Wilted violet. Scatter and salty ocean. Okay, so that's option two. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. So this is squeezed lemon. This is picked raspberry, mustard seed, and peacock feather. Okay, so now that's the first. So that's the first, the hardest part. It's picking out your colors. That is the hardest part. So now I just have some Nina Solar white cardstock, eight and a half by eleven. I just cut it down to uh, five and a half. And I'm just laying it on here because um, so you got an option you can once I get everything laid out and if I like the look then I can just go and cut this down so I'm gonna start with the large balloons and I'm gonna lay down these magnets oh, I'm sorry let me just say this this is um, make art and it's a magnetic board so I'm gonna lay this stencil down Whoops. Okay, so here we go. That's here. The I think the hardest part about the stenciling that I've been noticing is that keeping things from shifting and moving on your paper. Because you don't want the color to get underneath where it doesn't belong. But we're going to try. Uh, so this is my blending brush. I'll pull that out. So that's my yellow blending brush for the base color. So I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And then we'll just lay down some color and see what happens. I'm excited. I don't know. Let's master blend. <laughs> yeah, I know. So um, the idea with the background is to be really, 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 really light. So I'm just gonna blend it in. Oops, I didn't take any off, but okay. I'm already screwing up, but we'll try it. I have right. no idea what's going to happen. That's how Picasso got his out. Hmm? That's how Picasso got his out. Oh, <laughs> Picasso. Yeah, and so the background for the background layer is supposed to be just really light. So I don't know. Willie said that's how Picasso got his start. 
All right. Oh yeah, don't don't move it, Brenda. Don't move it around too much. So I'm just using a really light hand, and I'm taking this blending brush, and I'm just going in circles. I'll try to use my circle <laughs> I'm no Picasso, Willie Walton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll just. I'll think I'll keep it like darker on the, a little darker on the oh. bottom, and light going towards the top. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I really don't know what's going to happen. You know, one thing, we have a lot of colors together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was trying to find colors that were, like, in the same family. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Co Willie's the colorologist in the family, not me. He's the one with all the coordinating colors. I Oh, see, my stencil is shifting. Okay, be careful. It's light, light, light touch. Tight. Light touch. So half the fun of using a new product or trying something new is this. So I'm working on a, a card uh, for uh, for a birthday card, you know, because these could be used for birthdays. These kind of card fronts could. Okay, see, like my. Please, please, please don't move stencil. Uh, oh crap. We probably have to look into a different part where we can hold it down better. Yeah, I should have got some masking tape on the sides and I have some tape, so I'm, the next one I'll do that. But think about it. Um, if I'm doing like four and a quarter by five and a half, yeah. so anything that's on the edges won't be seen, you know, because it's going to be cut away. All right, so that's that one. Okay, so I got some tape. Okay, so let's take that off and look at that. Oh, not too bad. That's nice. Oh, okay. Okay. All right now. Ain't it? Okay. I I'm liking that. Okay, so let's do the next stencil. Oh, and I should have. Uh, Willie, there's a baby wipe in that drawer. In the middle drawer. Like a white wipe. So you're supposed to clean up your stencils like immediately. You don't need to leave this color um, on here. So I'm just getting a Willie grab me a baby wipe. I forgot to grab that. And uh, yeah, you want to police up some of this color because you don't want it to cross contaminate on the next one. And like I said, I'm just playing tonight. So I just want to say welcome to everybody. This is our Friday Night Live. Inky Balloon Magic. And I'm, you know, it's so fascinating. There's so many things you can do with these. Okay, so this is the second stencil. So this is the smaller balloon. So it should go like in between. Oh, yeah. Sure, I don't know if you can see that, Willie. Yes, it looks nice. I'm looking at it. You're looking at it? Okay. So I'm just going to keep it. Yeah, so. Cool. So since I have three colors, hmm, let me put some tape on here too. You got some blue out there? Yeah, I got some blue, like a teal peacock feather. Yes, that would be nice. So now as an artiste, looks like it's not straight. No need to be. Hmm? No need to be. Oh, the stencil. Well, I want it. Okay. I'm, uh, so if you're not a color or artist person, I can't draw to save my soul. But this is a good way to um, bring in some uh, creativity. Okay, so I use the tape. I'm gonna stick these on here. Oops, stay down. So now you gotta decide what do you wanna do? Do you start with your pink? So I've got three layers. So this could be, that could be the combo and this could be the combo, or this could be the combo. So if you wanted to go dark to light, which is probably what I'll do. Okay, so I'll start with this. So this is the peacock feather. The time, okay, we're looking good. So let me put this brush up, I'll hang on to you. Peel. So here's my teal blending brush. <clears throat> and so we'll just load up some color, and then I'll just, so I'll probably do about right there. 
right there and right there so we'll just do that we'll see okay I don't oh please stop moving please don't move be a little so now the next layer if I'll get I don't think I even got any color on there is so you can go a little darker I don't even know if I did this stencil right I have oh no please stop moving dude my stencil moved oh crumb okay see the paper moved it'll be alright mm, well uh, you know now I'm all par paranoid Let's see I might take it off this magnetic mat. Let's see if I can get it on there. Okay, there we go. In line. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe I need to go back here. It is still moving. Do you nice. see that? Just keep on going. Oh, I'm, no, I don't want to mess it up. No. That, okay. You're never going to be perfect. Okay, okay, Willie. The perfect part is an unperfect section. Okay. Okay. Now I'm, all, now I'm, now I'm sweating. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm sweating Sometimes over here. don't want to be perfect to make it perfect. <laughs> so now the next layer. So you got the, the base layer down. So your other colors that you've selected, I don't want any ghosting. That's what I don't want, love. Uh, could be darker. What? Okay. Well, Willie was calling my attention to something. I was like, I'm all concentrating over here, Willie. So you can put these colors down really dark, which is what I'm going to do. So now I'm using like a heavier um, hand. Okay, perfect. So circular motions, and then I'm pressing down really hard. And I can't wait to see the results. So like, uh, so Friday Night Live, the, the if you're just tuning in on Fridays, I, um, you know, I work during the day. Um, I have a Monday, uh, you know, a regular job job because got to pay the bills. But on <laughs> and, uh, and pay for this crafting habit. So I just said, okay, Sunday, Friday nights when I'm here, I would just like just take things out of my stash and just play with them. And I don't have anything in mind. So this is the next color mustard seed. I don't have a project plan. It's just me trying to learn and use the stuff that you purchase. So it's no fun if you purchase all of this stuff and you don't get a chance to use it. Um, so this is what I decided I would do. Okay. Yeah, that's a darker yellow. I don't know if I like that yellow. Uh, what I would do on Fridays, because like I said, I don't have a project in mind. There you go. Oh, mom says hello. Thank, hey mom. So yeah, I'm really doing this yellow because there's yellow on top of yellow. <clears throat> so the other uh, crafter that I saw, she did something really fantastic. She took our black I don't know what pen she had, but she took a black pen and outlined the balloons before she took up the stencil. So that might be an idea. To the top with it. A little more with the yellow all or just use it? All the way to the final top with the yellow. And then, okay, but I got that third color. I know, the third color is going to be in the middle. I already put the... Okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, me, let me do this. Let me do, let me do the balloon right, up the side. Um, over, just make them mixed up in the middle. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's why you have to have enough, a few, um... Yeah, and my stencil look like it moved. Okay, so note to self, I probably need to not use the magnetic mat. Oh, but I could have used my Misty. I didn't think about that, y'all. I could have used my Misty. I didn't think about that. Okay. Oh, that's, that's something. Okay, so now I'm really going deep. Now, before you take up this stencil, just saying, if you're not satisfied with the colors you've laid down, then you might want to go over it again. So, I don't know what the heck. 
like I said, don't no judgment. This is a judgment free zone tonight. I'm just playing because this is what Friday Night Lives is all about. And I probably made some rookie mistakes, but this is my first time doing it. So yeah, at least I took the ch uh, chance to use something. But I'll keep mastering it for the. Uh, I, I would have put the pro tip. Top, but you already started. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got another set. I could turn it over and do it again. Well, it's great. It's great. I was saying in between the ones you already have. Uh huh. But that's great right there. Oh, you okay? Like I pick a balloon. Okay, gotcha. Huh? I would have put them in between each other. Yes. Because, okay. Okay. Well, I did great right there, but that's just giving an idea. Yeah. Of what people can do. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is how you learn. All right, so, okay, I got all my colors. Let's just take a look and see. So sometimes, uh, I would say that when you're doing something, when you're putting down color, uh, I got a little ghosting, but not too bad. And then um, I also have a balloon die cut, and I didn't bring it out, but you can actually, so I've got balloons within balloons, so you could die cut this. So that's what it looks like. Those are some pretty cool colors, huh, Will? Oh, nice. That's nice balloon fest. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. I think we got time to do the second color. Okay, let me wipe this up and get that off of here. And then I'll use the option two. And then, so let me ask you this, Will. You're saying, like, do, pick out. What do, what do you what were you saying to do with this? Well, I was thinking that you could uh, there's so many sections of blue, blue, blue. Oh, all, not do it in line. And just have them where they all come to sing it all okay. together. Okay, okay, I get you. I feel you. I feel what you're putting down. Like I said, Willie's the color artist in this family. I am not. I can't even draw a straight line. Okay. Okay, so here's my next piece of paper. Let me do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna remove this. So this is probably not a good thing to use. And then I'll just use my mat. Because I've never really used it. And I have two silicone mats. I have the waffle flower mat right here. And this is from scrap, scrapbook.com. So maybe I'll do this. Okay, so we'll just use this. So this is the large layer, large stencil again. So I'm gonna go with my option second color, looking at the time. Okay, I got time. And Willie well, we just left, so I got some tape right here. I was gonna tell him to grab me some tape. So, I probably didn't put enough tape down. Hey, love. Yeah. Um, could you, if you so be so kind, sir, is to grab, see that yellow tape on the rod? Second, second, where the ribbons are? The rod, long rod, ribbons? Yes, yes, it's yes. yellow? Yeah, this, the... Which one do you need? The middle one, the small, not the small one. Yeah, that, that middle one, yeah. Just grab me some tape. Just oh, roll it off. About that much? Yeah, mm -hmm. whatever you hand me, it works for me. Tape is tough. Yes, it is. That so... Costs a lot. Okay, so... Maybe a pro tip is use more tape. So I probably will need some more tape to do the next color, the next layer. But let me tape it down. Maybe that'll work. And my stencil won't keep coming up. I'm so upset about that. You found a different way to hold stencil down. Yeah. All that. Well, yeah, I'm trying. Uh, okay, so this is sponge sugar. There's another thing that I ordered, and I'm sorry, Willie. <laughs> it's called a pouncer, so you don't use the um, well, the stencil. <laughs> it's you pounce the color on, yeah. and you don't have to worry about your stencil lifting. So I'll let you. I'll probably do a demo for that one. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So this is my base color. It's called Sponge Sugar. You said Sponge Sugar, Sponge Bob. Spun sugar, not spun. Oh. Spun sugar. Uh, okay. Spun. <laughs> he said SpongeBob. Okay. So let's just start little, little, let me start here in light, light hand. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I think this one's a little dry, quite frankly. I don't know. How would you um, wash it up? Um, I'd have to get some more, like a reinker, to reink the cube up. I just put a little water on it. No, sir. Oh. No, sir. You, you can't do that. Okay, so remember, this is the large balloon. So I'm just doing one solid base color. And then I'll use the other. Oops, let me move these out the way because I don't want to get confused. Let me bring these in. So now, Willie, you're saying when I do the smaller balloons, just grab colors and make random and colors. Separate brushes, where you just go from color to color. Okay, got balloons it. balloons comes in together, I mean, all the way throughout. Okay. That I can do, can do. See, this is what crafting does together. Me and Willie crafting together. Because I'm usually in this room, by my crafting room by myself, and Willie's doing whatever he has to do. Yeah. And as he cheated. Oh, he's in his, he's, I won't say family channel I won't tell you what I call his his uh, man cave shed <laughs> but it starts with the S and ends with the T <laughs> that's the kind of shed you got <laughs> his man cave so <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to be outside. He was like, oh, you can get a sheesh. No, you're not putting me outside, mister. Not going to happen. But now she's asking, can she do something outside? No. Yeah. <laughs> now that she saw I, I picked it up. He did trick his shit out, and I was like, hmm, that would be a good spot to do some filming for YouTube. Hmm. I think <laughs> He's like, no. I was like, we could set a table out here, get the camera stuff, and lights, camera, action out here in the in his man shed. It's like, no, no, no. Okay, so kind of get the concept. Um, this is like, this is a really light, yeah, I'm really pressing hard trying to get this bunch of lightness. Don't go too crazy because you're going to put the dark over there. Right. So okay. Good. okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's look this up and get the results. Okay. I love the silicone mat, especially with your tape. Now, um, what you have to be mindful with this tape is you don't want cross contamination. You get the colors on each other. Right, so you won't get the colors on each other. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't see any pink anywhere. Okay, so that's really pale. So the next combination will give you a soft, dreamy look. I'm gonna hand this to Willie and he's gonna wipe the stencil off for me. Yeah. Whatever side you want. Hmm. Now, let's see what yeah, just whatever side has the color on it. So this is the second stencil, which is the smaller balloons. And I'm gonna make sure I get it lined up right this time because I refuse to. Where did it go to? Hmm. You see it now? Okay, so I'm actually making sure. It oh, I can. It disappeared like fried chicken on a Sunday night. <laughs> what they said the color? He said the colors disappearing like fried chicken on a Sunday night. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just being real persnickety tonight because I don't want to make. Um, okay, uh, so I also saw when I was researching this is that some of the crafters actually put a little bit of tape, uh, removable tape on the back of their stencils. Exactly. Hmm? That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. But the there's a pros and cons to that. Yes, your stencil stays in place, but you also have to get that adhesive up off your stencil. That's so that would work. Um, I don't have any pixie spray, so you could kind of spray it with the... Uh, I'm a little goopy on well, well, yeah, cool. We got should probably work yeah, if you want to get the piece of um, cotton ball. Mm -hmm. ball. Okay, so I think that's down good. Okay, so you're saying for this application is to just pick a few balloons and just do yeah, like just dab random out. colors. Yeah, dab through out and then do the okay. same thing as another pattern. Okay. You can make a Z pattern. A Z pattern. Okay. You want to do. All right. What I'm going to start. Cross so, the bottom. So, cross the bottom. Okay. Angle just, towards the left. And back okay. towards the back way. Okay. This, so. 
put that purple down. And I'm gonna really now, you guys. I'm really using a really using heavy. Using power. Hmm. You're using your I'm using power my muscle. Hand. Yes. Okay, so you're saying a Z. Yes. Just do it like that. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll skip not, that. Not a backwards Z, but go ahead. Well. <laughs> oh, really, really. Now you say not a backwards Z. You didn't say which direction. It's very across the bottom. No, I'm gonna do it like yeah. so this way. Yeah, just go diagonal, go straight. Diagonal? Yeah, go diagonal way. Okay, just skip that balloon and yeah, go here uh, and here. Okay, I'll one. skip out the other yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. I, I got you. Okay, now i got to be really careful. And I probably should have... Don't worry about it. They can't blend. Don't worry about it. It's like a sun desolate on them, and they will okay. still um, okay. it'll make them like they blend together. Mm -hmm. I should have grabbed a smaller blending brush to kind of stay in the balloon. No, worry, just stay at the store. You ain't going to get it right now. Huh? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, he told, he said that that could stay at the store. I don't need to get anything else. Really? There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, so like that. Yes, and start just going throughout. Okay, so, and then we'll do it the other way, yeah. with the other color. So here's this yellow. So this is now a scattered straw. So we'll do that. Next. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I got this silicone mat. They'll stay in place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. Just go free fall. Just go for it. Huh? Just go for it. Just go for it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Don't it's be scared. Don't be scared. No scared. Don't okay. Scared. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just going to give a shout out to my fraternity in college. These are our colors, old gold and uh, royal, old gold and royal purple. Yeah. Yeah, so purple was our color. That's my fraternity too. <laughs> when I was with Bart. That's, okay, so there's a story behind. Yeah, Barney. <laughs> no, Barney. He said that's what Barney colors. Um, so I went to school in Michigan, and um, I went to business school, and I pledged a fraternity, not a sorority. Um, and the fraternity allowed women to pledge. So it was called Delta Sigma Pi and Gamma Theta Chapter in Detroit, Michigan. So I am officially uh, called Brothers because it was a co-ed. I'm a brother. So it was a co-ed um, fraternity and it allowed women, one of the first to do that. So instead of calling us brothers and sisters, we all were brothers. So it's kind of cool. It was kind of unique to our um, fraternity. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to put the. I'm just letting you go with it. Go with okay. the flow. Go with the flow. If you feel the need, we feel the need, feel it again. Mm -hmm. There you go. We like playing tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Tick, so yeah, we had a lot of fun in the fraternity. Tack, to the toe. Go ahead. We did a lot. Right there. Right here. Uh huh. No. Oh. oh. Where? What? In between the purple. Where? What? Right here? Yes, in okay. between the purple. Okay. One of these days Willie's gonna get in here and No, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you know, I might have mentioned it on more than one occasion, that Willie's like a sergeant Walton, because he was a sergeant. <laughs> you were, oh you're still a sergeant I apologize once a sergeant always a sergeant you're first sergeant I stand corrected hmm now Should, just, just throw your colors in there now I just stole my colors just throw them in there that'll be it okay what we'll do with the uh, don't touch purple with purple don't yeah put it just opposite yeah, put it direction. there you go yeah. listen to him he's like I gotta teach you everything that's what he's probably saying in his head. Dress right dress. Go ahead. Huh? Dress right dress. <laughs> dress right dress. <laughs> well, honey, thank you for your service. Thank you, love. <laughs> so now you can do a few other things to kind of... So offset it. And offset it. it. Yeah, yeah, to highlight, you yeah. can make some highlights. There on you the go. Two. You just yeah. bought my idea alone. Just right there, yellow. And the opposite side of the yellow. Uh, so I'm gonna do so that would be it's looking great. this right here. Yeah, looking great. Okay, yeah. Even though you got three blues in the row, it'll be all right. Oh, it'll be all right. Whatever, Willie. They all just left each other. Uh, guess what? Some yeah, of this is gonna be covered up by other stuff. Join together. 
Mm -hmm. See how it look? Came out perfect. <laughs> this is too hard to think because I just like I to know, have it. I know, like Sudoku. No, this is too much. Just doing too much. Just throw them in there. Don't worry about it now. I'm doing too much because I like to just have it in a I row. Know. And I ain't got to think about it. I know. <laughs> and that's not art. <laughs> I ain't got to think about it. Just do rainbow, and then I don't have to think about all of this, putting it together here and there. Let's go with the flow. Okay, but you know what? Red and blue makes, was it a... Purple. A, no, a blue, blue and blue yellow green. makes green. Yes. So that's what you can get with these blending things. Yes. Yeah, no, I want to do it. Just go. Oh, well, hey, really, no. I, I want it to look good, too. He's just telling it's me to put the color good. in there. I guarantee you. This is going to be a nice birthday card. Yeah. As long as you put yellow with yellow, you're all right. Okay. See? Now you got the purples going together. You didn't even know you were doing Yeah, but I, I hopefully I don't get mud with this purple. Don't worry about it. Like It'd a be brown. a darker purple. See that? That looks great. Okay, so I'm going to put no... I'm going to put And that's that no too. extra charge. That's no extra charge. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. No. Look at it. I'm looking at it. It would have been better if I had used No, just go the same color. Whatever color you want to put in there now. You can okay. use that one same yep. color all the way throughout. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Just let it go. Just let it go. But it looks like more than just a straight line mm -hmm. going up. Mm -hmm. And purple being your favorite color, blue being my favorite color. So, you're all right. Yeah, that'll work. I think I got a couple of more balloons. Yeah, just throw them in there. Yep. But no, you got it, you got it broken up now. All right, I'm looking at the time. I'm a little bit over my time, but I'll finish this out. More. Go ahead. You got three more. Just throw them in there. Just throw them. Whoop. Don't, don't do that. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, because <laughs> the pink is already in there, so they'll... They you want, I can do a darker pink, though. But they're light, so they'll be good. Okay, I could do this picked raspberry. How about that? Okay. Raspberry. Berry Picked beret. raspberry. I don't know who comes up with these names. No, that was um, Prince. Prince, Raz that's raspberry beret. Yeah, raspberry beret. Okay. Was it beret? Hmm? Was it raspberry beret, right? Uh, beret. Oh, I, I didn't know it wasn't a raspberry beret. beret. It's not beret, it's a beret. Oh. Okay, you know what? That's kind of clever because that would be the focal point yeah. of the whole thing because it's a different color. It's going to pop out. There you go. That's pretty clever right Can there. Can you find the raspberry? <laughs> Can you find the raspberry? Yes. Okay, we'll put this. I should have put blue on top of that. That's great. Okay. Now I made green. No, nope, that's the sunlight hitting it. <laughs> Let's see. So I could put yellow right here. Yeah. Can you find your well, no, I can't I was gonna say, can you be my Huckleberry? But that's from um that's from a, a movie. Okay, almost done, y'all. I pre appreciate y'all patience. Oh, no. Blue. All right, so this is pretty cool. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's look and at it. And all you got to do is pull it. Yeah, we're going to pull it up. But hold on, I got to cap and all of these. something great to do with kids also. What? To work with. Okay, yeah, that's. This type of project. Hold on now. See, crumb, crumb. Let me need to make sure I got. It. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that was bread crumb? Okay, I had the different tops on there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you need to make sure. So you don't grab the wrong one. Yeah, so you won't grab the wrong color. Okay, let's do the reveal time. Oh! Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Look at that. That's not bad for a rookie. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. So the other technique is, since that's the pop-out color, then I could choose... Um, different colors like in my hot pinks or fuchsias and do something with the wording or the stamping so now this is just your background I think I really like doing stencils so thank you husband, thank you, husband. so I went over my time a little bit but I appreciate your patience as we work through this um, this was a pretty fantastic thing um, I will be looking for more stencils. I'm actually looking to make my own stencils, so I might uh, do a video in the future, like uh, how what I did to create my own stencils, because you don't always have to buy everything. 
And since I already have the Cricut, I can cut out my own stencil. So that's what I'm looking into next. But in the meantime, I will be posting any of my, of my balloon stuff that I make, any of my balloon cards. So you follow us on social media. Please like, subscribe, and share in any comments. I'm going to say good night to you all, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend and bring some joy um, and to, everyone to everyone's life. life, and uh, I'll talk to you later.